Types of fires. Four types of fires are Class A, Class B, Class C, and Class D. Class A fires. Class A fires are those involving 1. Wood and wood-based materials 2. Textiles 3. Plastics and rubber Wood and wood-based materials These are commonly found in reception hall, dining halls, and store areas. They include furniture, curtains, papers, cardboard, and so on. On ignition, they give off carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, heat, water vapor, and other types of gases. Textiles These are clothes, ropes, carpets, and bedsheets. There are two types of textiles, namely natural and synthetic. They have different burning properties. Natural textiles are jute, hemp, and cotton. Synthetic textiles are those such as nylon, polyester, rayon, and so on. Plastics and rubber. These have various chemical compositions, and their burning characteristics differ from each other. The highest fire risks are those from celluloid. For example, transparent, thin material that resembles rubber is used for sealing food. They decompose rapidly at 120 degrees Celsius and emit flammable vapor. Water is the appropriate extinguishing media for Class A fires. Class B fires Class B fires are those involving 1. Flammable and combustible liquids 2. Paints and varnishes 3. Flammable gases Flammable and combustible liquids Flammable liquids are those that give off flammable vapors at or below 26.7 degrees Celsius. These include petrol, alcohol, acetone, and so on. Flammable vapors can lead to explosion if they accumulate in sufficient quantity and react with air. Combustible liquids are those that give off flammable vapors above 26.7 degrees Celsius. These are heavy fuel oil, diesel oil, kerosene oil, lubricating oil, and so on. They tend to give off a dense black smoke when they burn. Paints and Varnishes They contain low flashpoint solvent and therefore they combat with foam. On small quantities of paints and varnishes, use carbon dioxide and dry powder. Do not use water. Flammable Gases Isolate the fuel supply. Otherwise, the gas will escape into the environment and cause more severe explosion. Appropriate extinguishing method for Class B fires is to cut off the fuel supply. Fighting Class B fires depends upon different situations, but the general steps involve the following. 1. Using foam extinguishers, dry powder, and even water fog if possible, for small fires. 2. Using dry powder initially to extinguish the flames and then back up with foam for a bigger fire. Class C Fires These are electrical fires arising from generators, switchboards, and motors. The major causes for these fires are short circuits, overloading of conductors, and arcing. Extinguishing Method for Class C Fires 1. Shut off the electrical supply. 2. 
Use CO2 or dry powder to extinguish the fire. Class D fires. These are metal fires. However, metals are generally considered to be non-flammable, but in finely divided form, they become a fire hazard and can lead to explosions. Alkaline metals such as potassium, sodium, and lithium react violently with water to emit highly flammable hydrogen gas. Water reacts violently with some metals. On occasions, these fires can be self-sustaining. Hence, water cannot be used as an extinguishing medium. CO2 and dry powder can be used for Class D fires.